This video is about Native Instruments method, to be more specific about its wavetables. It is possible that you ever wanted one thing and got stuck in the creative process of designing sound in massive because of it. That will be, which wavetable should you use to be the sound you're looking for? As you might have noticed, there are lots of material you can choose from as a starting point. But the only information you have about them is names that maybe won't help you to sign in a first sight. So helping you with this issue is the aim of this video. First I'm going to make a brief introduction about the general controls in Massive. But if you really want to know how to design sounds in this synthesizer, it's essential that you have more in-depth knowledge on how all of its parameters work, because nothing depends only on oscillators. So, on the left we have the oscillator section. This is where the sound begins to be generated. You have three oscillators that work the same way, that is, loading a wavetable, a small audio sample with a specific wave shape recorded. This wavetable is what we're going to cover in more details later. Also you have your noise generator, an oscillator that produces only noise as the name says. And here the modulation oscillator and feedback sections where you can distort and modulate the sound. Then the sound goes to the filter section where you can apply T filters either in series, that is the sound coming out of filter 1 and into the filter T, or in parallel, the sound coming through both filters at the same time. You can crossfade between these T modes and control separately the volume of each filter as well. You can also crossfade the volume sent to the filters for each oscillator individually through these faders. Then, depending on the routing settings, the audio goes to the inserts, the amp and section, the effects and EQ, and finally to the master. In massive, the modulation section is shown in the center. There are four envelopes and four modulators that can be assigned to an LFO, a performer, or a sub sequencer. This is really what makes Massive one of the most powerful synthesizers in the market today. The ability to create evolving, morphing, and modulated sounds in a vast variety of ways and in sync with musical patterns by controlling almost any parameter with these modulators. So it's a must to have a more in-depth knowledge of this section if you want to take the best from Massive. In the next video, we're gonna get to the point that is the wavetables. See you there.